so hello and welcome to my channel my fringe is driving me mad it's going a bit floppy um, today is going to be a mixed haul uh, Poundland and Pound Stretcher went in both not enough of either to boot, do a big haul so I'm going to stick them both together right where do we start let's start with the uh, Pound Stretcher so our local Pound Stretcher always has these mad crazy sales on it um, the one I go in never has anybody in it and I went in on a Friday night after work it was about the only person in there it was bliss so they had 25% off clothing items so I grabbed a pair of these I have already actually got them in light grey and I have worn them quite a bit actually so these are a darker grey version don't look much while they're on the uh, hanger but they are pretty comfortable and yeah, once they're on your feet, they're nice. They're ever so warm. Got like memory foam at the bottom. So these should have been 2 99 but they had 25% off. So I think that worked out at about 2 25 Bargain. This was also in that sale. You may have seen another haul where I got a grey one for my mum. Um, but I saw this one and I thought, actually, I've, got, I've already got a black one uh, like a woolen one but I had it from Primark but I, I don't really like it that much I don't think it I don't know it will do for dog walking but I wanted something a little bit more plush so this is one of the lovely soft sort of you know like throws it's lovely this again should have been 2 dollars 25% off as well uh, great big long thing so you put it around your neck give it a swizzle around it's not actually a scarf it's like a is it classed as a snood when it's like that? I'm not sure. Ironing board cover. I'm a bit funny about ironing board covers. Uh, I like to have bright ones usually, but I saw this. Uh, it's like that geometric. Is it called geometric? Shaping. So you've got white, sort of a grey, and then a baby pink triangles on it. Uh, fit any uh, ironing board. Should have been 249 dollars Great price for an ironing board cover. Then the reason I actually went into Pound Stretcher was to get some uh, storage. The amount of stuff I keep buying for these hauls, I'm running out of space to put everything. And it's causing, it's, made, it's looking a bit of a mess everywhere. So I went to have a look to see if they've got any decent storage boxes. And I was very pleasant, pleasantly surprised that yes, they did. So this was the first one. This is lovely. It's white with sort of a silver thread going through it. Now, the only problem was they only had one. So, oh, I was like, oh, do I get it, don't I? They had it in black with silver, but that just looked a bit cheap and nasty. And I thought, I really like that. That'll go in this bedroom. It'll fit really well. So I thought, just get, just get it. So £5.99. So it wasn't overly cheap, especially from Pound Stretcher. But I love it. So then I went back in again a few days later to see if they'd had a delivery. No uh, more white ones, but a different style. So we've got grey with the silver going through it. And I got two of these. So I've got two matching ones. So two of these, one white. So um, I'm going to have a think about where I'm going to put these. I think I'm going to use these two under where I am now. This is where I do all my makeup. Um, and the the storage um, box that I've already got down there is absolutely brimming with things. So I think I'm going to put one either side. I'll go for the silver one so they match and then I'll use the white one somewhere else. So a few bits from Poundland. Not enough to make a, a full video, but I thought I'd uh, just show you a few bits I got. Um, they've got all the Easter stuff in at the moment and a lot of stuff like, you know, when they decorate the bonnets and things. What was that? It's like a little worm. So I thought I'd get a few bits to add into my, so my little nephew, he's only a baby at the minute, but when he comes to stay with Auntie B, once he gets a bit older, I want to get into doing a bit of craft, crafting with him. So I'm, as I go along, I've got a little box that I keep buying bits for to stick in. So I've got him a couple of items, some stickers, these are actually are pretty expensive for a pound, aren't they? A little bit ripped off there. Uh, jungle puffy stickers. These are all little animals. 
And then I grab these. These are like Easter things. Um, how many did you get in here? Two, four, six. And they're like little faces or an Easter egg. And you can colour these in and then, I don't know, play puppets or whatever you might do with them. Uh, Easter characters. Then I grab these. Foam shapes. Uh, I'm not sure if these, what these are. I don't know. I actually thought they were supposed to be heads, but I think now looking at it, they're Easter eggs, aren't they? With like bows on. Oh, I've made a bit of a, a mistake getting those. I'm going to use them as faces with hair. It's an easy thing to uh, get wrong, isn't it? So, yeah, obviously a pound for those. So that's all those bits. Next bits are, sorry to keep looking down, they're in here. So the last few items, grabbed one of these. This is the Sanex Sensitive Deodorant. I absolutely love this stuff. It's one ninety nine in boots, so if I ever see it for a quid somewhere, I always pick it up. Um, this is my favourite one. At the minute I'm using the blue one. I'm not sure if I like the smell of it as much. This is just very, just subtle and it's good deodorant. Yeah, so I used to use sprays, but oh, I used to get in such a, I used to put so much on and get it all over my clothes. And I find with these roll-ons, they don't stain your clothes like uh, the sprays do. And I would say they're as effective as a spray um, sweat-wise. I'm lucky I don't tend to sweat under the armpits. I tend to sweat a bit down there, in between the old boobs. Um, Alan calls it booby whiff. <laughs> he reckons women get sweaty down there and it smells a bit, so he'll call it booby whiff. And I'll tell you what I have been doing in the summer, uh, when it's been really hot, I've actually been putting a bit of deodorant down there because it gets so wet, it goes like on my top sometimes, just to try and stop the uh, the wetness. And uh, yeah, it's worked pretty well. So bit down there, bit under the boobs, bit under the armpits, off we go. Grabbed a little pot of this. The nail varnishes that Poundland do, the, the colour colour options are uh, really extending. Not seen this one before, I don't know if it's new or I've just not looked for it. This is a ridge filler and base coat and it's sort of a, a baby, you know it's not baby pink, it's more nude colour actually. So I thought what I'd do is use this underneath the false nails when I wear the false nails in the hope that it might protect them from the glue a little bit. Um, but I think the idea of that is you use it if you've got wonky ridges or wonky bits in your nails, just to make it a bit smoother before you put your nail varnish on. Pack of eyelashes. These actually aren't for me. I'm going to include these in a giveaway at some point in the future. Um, I thought these were lovely, actually, quite fluffy. And they are the Jess Wright Beauty ones and Vibey. Saw this. This was in the Mother's Day bit. Um, I'm wondering if this might have been £2, actually can't remember. Anyway, W7, no, it was a pound. It W7 brand. Um, you can get that in, I've seen that in the range and B&M. Um, and also I've seen it in like, um, you know, when you go to those retail outlets, uh, there was a beauty shop and they had a lot of stuff in there. Now I did buy this to put in a giveaway, but now I'm looking at it. I think I might keep it myself. I'm not sure. It's got lovely pinks in it. I like that colour. Um, well, I like all three actually. I think that's really good for a pound. And they had two different colour options. Some were pinky and some were more brown. Saw these in the little bags. If you're not used to uh, going in Poundland, when you go in there, they have, um, I think they must bulk buy stuff or buy end of line stuff. And they put them in these plastic bags. So keep your eye out because you get some proper gems in there. Uh, one of which is going to be this. Now, I've not heard of this brand. I'm not sure if it's a dodgy brand. But the colours of this eyeshadow look great. It's Manhattan. And it's called Amazing News. News, right. So let's get one of these out to have a look at. Now, I have bought two because I thought these would be great in a giveaway. I think the colours look really good. So I won't necessarily give them away in these plastic bags. But... Let's crack one open. I won't um, swatch them in case I do give one away. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is magnificent for a pound. That is really nice. I think I might keep one of these, actually. 
might put one of these in my travel grab bags. Yeah, I bought two palettes from Audi and I just, I'm not keen on them. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Sometimes with eyeshadows, they make my eyes a bit watery or a bit sore. So I'm wondering if, I have got quite a sensitive eye, so I'm wondering if some eyeshadows, you know, aren't suitable for my skin. Anyway, so the Audi ones, I don't know what I'm going to do with them because they weren't that cheap. Look at those, lovely. So you've got sort of whitey silvery and it goes through the colour spectrum. They're nice, they're sort of not quite khaki. What colour would you call those? I don't know. Not sure. And then you go on to sort of a purple and a charcoal -y colour. Not quite sure I'd call that nude. I always think of nudes as like um, beiges. But yeah, got two of those, absolutely love those. So that's that one done, not a massive haul there. I had to throw a few items together. I'm absolutely on a roll today. I think I've, I think I've recorded about four videos. I bought so much stuff, it was all mounting up. I needed to uh, get it done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, a follower of my uh, Be It 43 channel. I hope you've enjoyed watching that one and I will hopefully see you on another one very soon. I do try to upload between two and three videos a week. A lot of shopping hauls. What's that? I always have things flying around in this bedroom. Um, yeah, a lot of shopping hauls, bit of beauty, a couple of vlogs, that sort of thing. So I'll hopefully see you on another one very soon. Bye for now.